Hey, Mr. Lee. Mm. Is Corinne home? Yeah. Come on in. So, you taking my daughter out to prom, huh? Yes, sir. You drink, do drugs? No, sir. You smoke? No, sir. You ever wear white after Labor Day? Chew with your mouth open? No. Nope. Cheat on your taxes? I'm 17. Have you ever lied about your age? All right, I'll eat in this cup. Daddy, are you harassing my date again? Oh, no, no, darling. Oh, don't you look beautiful. So, are we ready to go? <laughs> Um, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> uh, um... Daddy! I told you he was no good. But I was gonna make one! <sighs> Fucking kids. Need a corsage? This week we're gonna show you how to make one. Plus, dive into the wonderful world of prom. Goddamn kids, get off my porch! All right, so the materials we're gonna use for this project are some lace, a pair of old jeans, a men's white button-up, some fusible interfacing, a bit of muslin or scrap fabric, a needle and thread, some sort of cutting tool, elastic, chalk, a handy-dandy threadbanger Janome sewing machine, and an iron. Whew. All right, first things first. Grab your fusible interfacing and scrap fabric and cut a piece out that's about three inches by eight inches long. Lay the shiny glue side of your interfacing face up and place your fabric on top of it. Flip it over and iron on for a few seconds. Once your interfacing has been fused, fold your fabric in half and draw a circle roughly two inches in diameter. Take it over to your sewing machine, trace your circle with a straight stitch, and then cut it out alongside the stitch. You now have your corsage base. Next, take your elastic and cut off about six inches. Head back to your sewing machine and attach it like a loop to the middle of your base. All right, the hard part's done. Set your wristlet aside and grab your white button up. Measure, chalk, and cut out a rectangle that's roughly 24 inches by four inches. This is gonna be your flower. I learned how to make this one over at elizabethandesigns.com where there's a great tutorial. Next, take your rectangle, fold it in half long ways, and press the seam with an iron. Now head back to the sewing machine. Set yourself a long and loose stitch length and begin to sew up the open side. Make sure not to lock your stitch when you begin. Once you reach the bottom, leave yourself some long tail threads. Once sewn, take the bobbin thread and begin to ruche your rectangle, carefully pulling and pushing to scrunch up your fabric. Once you got a circle shape, slowly begin to roll your fabric up from one end to the other. And just like that, you got a flower. Okay, we're almost done. Next, bust out those old jeans, or any fabric really, and chalk and cut out two leaf shapes. Make sure each leaf has a significant opening at its end. Now flip them right sides together and sew along the edges, leaving the bottom open. You're doing this so you can turn them inside out. This might be a pain, but once you got them, take out the iron one more time and press them flat. All right, now it's time to attach everything. Remember that lace? Cut a piece off and use it as your bedding. A word of advice, it's always a good idea to find out your date's dress color so you can match the elements of your corsage. All right, so adjust that lace and sew it onto the base. Next up, attach your two leaves. And lastly, set and place your flower where you want it and begin to hand sew it down. As an afterthought, we figured it might be cool to even add a decorative stitch to those leaves and make them really stand out. As seen here, drawn in chalk. And once you're happy with your corsage, it's time to give it away. Who are you? Corinne's date. She just called me to pick her up. No, you're not. I'm Corinne's date. I was just here. I just made this corsage for her. You mean... I just made this corsage. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Hi. Did you make this yourself? <sighs> you bet I did. Love it. You ready? Yeah. All right, kids. You uh don't have too much fun. Be home by 10. Wrap it up. What happens when you put together one band and one filmmaker to create an original music video for $99? Watch world premiere videos every week at $99musicvideos.com. $99 Music Videos is best experienced with Verizon Fios Internet.
watching the Threadbanger. Hey, welcome back. So this prom season's all about the two ecos, economical and eco-friendly. If you still need a dress of your own and don't feel like buying or making a new one, try organizing a prom dress swap. TeensTurningGreen.org just hosted their first event called Project Green Prom. With help from Whole Foods Market, they help teens prep for prom with organic cosmetics, recycled dresses, and donated accessories. Check out TeensTurningGreen.org for more on what you can do to keep green this prom season. If you've got a prom dress but don't think you'll ever be wearing it again after the big night, donate it. There's a bunch of great organizations out there for helping underprivileged students make their prom dreams a reality. Operation Fairy Dust, the Fairy Godmothers, and the Glass Slipper Project are all individually run programs taking dresses, cosmetics, and accessory donations year-round. OperationFairyDust.org has a great list of sister organizations, so check to see if there's one in your area. But if you're really into making your dress for prom, and you have 50 extra rolls of duct tape hanging around, then you should definitely consider making you and your date some outfits out of them. Do so, and you'll have a chance to win cash and prizes from Duct Tape's yearly Stuck at Prom contest. Check out last year's winners and find out how to enter at stuckatprom.com. Now for those of you who don't think your school's prom is cool enough to go to, and you're looking for an alternative, there's no prom cooler than the Geek Prom. Annually held in Minnesota, this prom has it all. Cheesy music, awkward romances, and clumsy dancing. But if your perfect prom night includes brains and blood, then the zombie prom held out in Baltimore would probably be more your style. Just don't go shaking a leg and have it fall off. Over on the Threadbanger forums, the prom dresses and reconstruction photos are in abundance. Like Ronica DeMonica's post of her super awesome gothic Lolita prom dress, with matching date. CP Threads posted up her two dresses she made for last year's prom season. The first for a winter formal she attended, and the second for a prom in which she used ribbon to create some awesome texture and color. Bucky for Prez made this prom dress completely out of recycled newspaper for a school challenge. Happy Chick made herself this little number, Marin started putting together her prom creation for this year, and Goofy Panay is just getting started on her dress and posting pictures as she goes. To check out her progress and see what everyone else is making, hit up the Threadbanger forums. Can't get enough of prom? Check out previous prom episodes from Threadbanger where we show you how to make a bow tie and how to restyle that old 80s dress. And if you're making something for prom, we want to see it. Post it to the Threadbanger forums or email it to us at tips at threadbanger.com. Until then, make sure you're following us on Twitter, becoming a fan on Facebook, and leaving a comment below. See you next time. Who are you? I'm Grin's date. She just called me to pick her up. That's Who are you? Sorry. <laughs> ah! All right, tinkle in the scope. That's it, just squirt a little bit. A little bit of that lemonade. Put it in here. Next New Networks needs your vote. Your favorite shows are up for a People's Voice Award. Best Remix. Best Variety. How-To and DIY. And Best Editing. Voting closes April 30th.